Hello and welcome to the introduction video of Microsoft 365. This video is to let you know what is Microsoft 365. The first thing to say is it is not a single product like Excel or OneDrive or Teams that designed for a specific purpose where you can do uh, some task based upon the application needs actually. But that is not Microsoft 365. It is a set of applications that comes under a plan. You can subscribe it and those applications gonna help you to connect together and work together regardless of your location or your device. So some of the applications that we use in our day-to-day -day life is Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, uh, Teams. All these applications are that well-known applications that we use in our day-to-day -day life regardless of personal or corporate uh, uh, network. So these applications are packed in a way, are integrated in a way to help you to work together regardless of your location and device. And that is what Microsoft 365. And it is powered by artificial intelligence also. So when I say uh, you can work from different location or different devices, then security is the first point that uh, comes in everyone's mind. Yes, there are features and applications and services that packed in Microsoft 365 to give you a protection to your data, to protect your environment, to protect your informations. Now look at the list of applications uh, that you see in the screen. There are a lot of applications that are very familiar to you like a Word for document creation, Excel for some kind of mathematical calculations. Then we have PowerPoint for making presentations. Then there is a uh, email uh, or exchange online for email uh, services. Then Yammer is there in the list that provides you an internal social network in your organization. Then Power BI for creating nice dashboards from different data sources. So a lot of applications are there uh, in Microsoft 365 business uh, or enterprise or the packages that provided by Microsoft 365. But the, the question that comes now in your mind is actually i need uh, some of it not full applications for my business or for my personal uh, for example uh, you in your personal life you only need uh, excel outlook powerpoint such applications but when coming to uh, corporate life or in your company you may need uh, exchange online for messaging services or yammer for your uh, internal social network or power bi for creating nice dashboards for some kind of analytics so based upon your demands the requirement or the set of applications that you need may vary right and that is the reason microsoft comes with the different categories for their plans there are personal that provides you the personal package or the personal category includes subscriptions that that covers the packages like Excel, Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Outlook, so desktop applications, and also a OneDrive share storage up to one terabyte for one person. So that will be a perfect fit for someone who need a Microsoft 365 subscription for their personal or for their family need. We will go through one by one what each package is provided. Now I'm giving you an overview what actually Microsoft 365 and how they packed all these applications together. Then we have Microsoft 365 Business. That is the second uh, category we have in a Microsoft 365 subscription that includes a lot of applications. The application that I show you in the previous slide, all these applications are available in Microsoft 365 Business Package. And this business uh, package includes a different type of subscription. For example, you only need uh, Exchange or Online and uh, OneDrive uh, Storage, but you don't need a desktop applications for your uh, users you only need web applications like word excel web applications only need then you can go with the uh, uh, some basic packages in microsoft 365 business subscription at the same time there are all, uh, packages which covers the desktop application web application then power bi a lot of things are packed so based upon your need inside microsoft 365 business there are different type of plans or subscriptions available you can pick up based on need but the key difference between the personal and the business is personal include only desktop application it doesn't cover any kind of services like exchange server or teams uh, or yammer no it only provide you desktop applications but coming to the microsoft 365 business you get a lot of services exchange online yammer so that is how you have to pick up which category you have to go then coming to the enterprise 
enterprise have uh, security and compliance that is the key difference between the business and enterprise enterprise have security and compliance that includes a lot of applications and services that are gonna help you to protect your data uh, to meet the compliance requirement so that is a key difference it also includes all the applications that we talked about in the business plus security and compliance then the final category that is microsoft 365 education which provides you all the applications and security uh, services that covers in microsoft 365 business and enterprise but the difference is it gonna give you lesser price but only for the educational organizations not for everyone so there are some kind of uh, criteria that you need to complete in order to uh, successfully complete the validation of microsoft to be fit in a microsoft 365 education category then you can enjoy all the features at a lesser or subsidized price that is a key difference i think it's good to introduce you to some of the courses available in udemy from me eh? Uh, exchange and office 365 which explains everything about microsoft exchange and uh, office 365 hybrid setup and also identity and access management courses uh, ms100 and microsoft pki and also a free course is available for vmware vsan the link to all these courses are available in the description so that's all let's move on to our topic now let's uh, go through Microsoft 365 website uh, to understand what I explained, uh, what is Microsoft 365 and what are the four categories uh, we saw in the slides. So what you see now is the Microsoft 365 website where you can see we have a personal, uh, business, enterprise and education. So these are the uh, plans or the four categories uh, we have. So if you click on the family, personal and family, you will be able to see uh, what are the plans that comes under the category of uh, personal and family so here you can see we have uh, uh, microsoft 365 family that provides uh, you all the applications and also up to six terabyte uh, one drive storage and it is compatible across all the devices so this is a family package comes in the personal and then also you have uh, a personal uh, microsoft 365 uh, plan which is uh, 69 dollar and that is for one person and this is for five people so these are the key difference uh, between the two packages that comes under the uh, personal and family now if you go back to the business so you will see a lot of packages uh, that comes under business because business includes a lot of applications so you can see Microsoft 365 business basics and which include one terabyte cloud storage, web and mobile versions of office apps only. So it doesn't provide you desktop applications, but it provides you some uh, services like Exchange Online uh, and also SharePoint. Uh, so that is the key difference. Uh, here you have additional on uh, services, not just desktop applications. Uh, so in this package, if you look at the Microsoft 365 apps for business, which the cost is a bit higher compared to the first one, but that provides you desktop application also in addition to the web and mobile application that we saw in the previous package. So if you go to the right side, you will see uh, different packages and also the price wise, the, the changes also you can see. And there are two type of uh, subscriptions available monthly or annual uh, subscriptions are also available. Now let's go back and uh, click on the enterprise and in enterprise you will see uh, packages uh, that is a combination of uh, all the business apps plus the security and compliance. So you can see Microsoft 365 applications is included, then email and calendar, then teams, then device and app management. So that is where the device management is also included. So for the enterprise organizations who have a large number of uh, users and devices of course they need to go with uh, uh, some kind of uh, enterprise packages the business will not fit and you can see uh, information protection threat protection security management that provides the security features and also compliance management so the difference uh, the key difference between the uh, enterprise and business is enterprise includes all the business applications and also uh, security features that can help you to manage the device and, and protect your data and there are different packages like 365 e3 then 365 e5 if you look at the differences you will see for example in the power bi power bi pro is included only in the e5 not e3 so between the packages there are uh, differences in the application that we will discuss later for now uh, my aim is only to show you what are the key differences between the categories 
now the next one is education so in education you will see uh, this is only for the educational organizations which is not uh, you cannot enroll it uh, if you are not uh, a part of education organization you need to provide some documentation to prove and also you need to have a domain uh, with the dot edu then only you will be able to enroll and these are the packages that comes uh, microsoft 365 a1 a3 and a5 these are the packages that comes and that helps you to uh, pack almost all the applications that comes in the e3 e5 or whatever comes in the enterprise and also business so this is what we were discussing in the slides there are uh, four type of categories or four uh, categories that comes under microsoft 365 and these categories are uh, and these categories includes a lot of packages or plans that are clubbed with uh, applications and uh, security device management so the key takeaway of this video is you understood what is Microsoft 365. It's not a product. It's a set of applications that put together in plan uh, and that helps you to connect or uh, that help you, helps you to work together from anywhere or any device regardless of your location and devices. That is what Microsoft 365. And it includes four type of uh, categories like personal, then business, then enterprise and uh, uh, education. And inside this, you will have different packages and based upon your requirement, based upon the number of users, based upon your organization's volume, you can choose one of it and you, or you can choose multiple uh, packages in under one organization based upon because all users are not same. So the key uh, takeaway of this course is just to understand what is Microsoft 365 and what are the main packages or main categories that you have in Microsoft 365. That's all. Thank you for watching this video. See you more in the next video.